So here we are. I am going to do a little book review of a giant book. What do they call these? A door stopper. I just finished Wanderer. This book is almost 800 pages long, something like that. Anyway, it's very, very long. This is written by Chuck Wendig. I actually have never read any of his, anything of his before. I follow him on Twitter and that seemed like a good enough reason to buy his books is because he's kind of funny on Twitter and seems like he's not an asshole. So here we go. I picked this up at Comic-Con. I knew it was a horror thriller, but aside from that, I didn't know anything about it. So this book is about a teenage girl who starts wandering off the farm. Um, she is like a zombie and so her sister decides to walk with her because her sister is you know older and wants to protect her little baby sister blah 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 anyway so one person who's very zombie like in the sense that there's nobody home uh, starts walking and then more people start walking and no one can explain it no one knows what's wrong with them no one knows where they're going and so on and so forth so this group of people walking down the road just grows and grows and grows and as it does so do the people that are talking about it um for good or for bad and there's other people who are walking with them you know making sure that they i guess stay out of trouble and so it's it's about that it's about what's wrong with them it's about how um everybody is reacting to it and it just kind of all has all these like threads that come in to the to the end so I'm trying to do this without spoilers, so we'll keep that in mind as we go. The first thing I will say is that this book scared the shit out of me. It really made me terrified of basically a giant epidemic sweeping the earth that wipes everybody out. I live in a city, so I would be one of the first to go, and I've kind of tried to resign myself to that when the zombie apocalypse comes, when some terrible bird flu comes, whatever, I'm going to be the first to go. So say goodbye now. So that was a little bit terrifying. And I really liked how he tied a lot of different things into it of the things that we as people do um, to the earth, to ourselves, uh, to each other, that kind of brings about our own fucked up demise. And it was really interesting to see that he brought in some politics and religion and various, you know, this side versus that side, which was really interesting to see, like, how people take things and spin them or something like that. Uh, so that was super fascinating. I don't know how much of his science in the book is accurate, uh, but it was pretty plausible. So I kind of went along for the ride. I will say that there are some scenes in there that are a little graphic. It is a horror thriller, so it's to be expected, but for anybody who hasn't read it, just keep that in mind. Cause yeah, there were a few scenes that I was like reading kind of like this, but I get it, you know, it was, it was motivated, it made sense, and it really kind of shaped those characters. So, so I, I went with it. And you know, there was, there was a point where I was at about 500 pages where I was just like, this damn book, it will never end. I'm so tired of this. I don't want to read anymore. I want to start something new. And not because the book wasn't good. It was just because that's a lot of pages. But then when it finally ended, the next day, I was like wandering around the house going, gosh, I don't have any more of that book to read. So it's kind of a weird feeling to read a book this long and really get yourself into the world and into the characters. And, you know, every ending is a new beginning. So now I'm ready for the sequel to see what happens to, to these people at the end. So at the beginning. Yeah, if you're into like horror, sci-fi, I actually also... For 2020, I'm doing the Pop Sugar Reading Challenge, and this book fits into the reading challenge for a medical thriller and uh, a book featuring artificial intelligence. So if you are into that, if you're doing that, this will check off at least two things on that list of 50. So, so yeah, I've got one down, and it's a good one. And while I'm at it, I will say that this book... Um, if you wanted some companion reading, The Tangled Tree is a good choice. 
I have a, a, a ritual when I go to airports that I always pick up a book, sometimes two. Um, and this was an airport book that I bought in Salt Lake City, of all places. And it is about how our understanding of evolution has changed as molecular biology has um, advanced and how bacteria actually have played a huge part in our evolution. It's such a fascinating read. It's not an easy read. There were a lot of times that I was do you know, you would have seen a little question mark above my head going, what the hell are they talking about? Because they talk about a lot of, you know, RNA and the DNA and the, this collider, that blah, blah, blah. And, but I will say that this book helped me to understand a lot more about this book and how things could be possible with disease and bacteria and viruses and understanding how they work and the way things spread and so on and so forth. This book, The Tangled Tree, is fascinating and it also has an unexpected bonus. Uh, he talks a lot about various scientists through the last, you know, 50, 100 years, all the way back to Darwin, because of course you can't write a book about evolution without at least mentioning Darwin. And so this book talks about all those scientists and all of the uh, discoveries they made and hypotheses that they put forward. And it turns out that scientists are a bunch of little bitches and they are so territorial and they all want to make sure that they get credit and like whose name is first on the paper and who's a second and so on and so forth. It was actually really fascinating. I kind of would love to see somebody write a novel about a bunch of scientists bitching about who gets credit. Um, it could be like a Hollywood meets science kind of novel and I think that could be hilarious and completely entertaining because I love bitchy shit. So anyway, that's what I've got for you today. The Wanderers, actually not The Wanderers, just Wanderers and The Tangled Tree. Uh, Wanders is by Chuck Wendig and The Tangled Tree is by David Quammen. It's science and science is always good for us. So that's, that's it.